Hi everyone, this is Cindy, and I am still working through tubs of stuff and finding different things. And I found this idea. I'm not sure where, you know, whose original idea it was or anything like that. And but I love it, and I love this one. That's why I still have it. It needs to go into my idea book. And <clears throat> excuse me, that may have been where it was and fell out. I'm not sure. But anyway, what this is is a pharmacy bag. And you put, I put Velcro on this just a few minutes ago <clears throat> because I couldn't find my uh, medallion things I wanted to put to close it with. So anyway, um, the bag, the bottom of the bag, this has got a digital print on the front of it. I have done it with wallpaper and, um, and then some sort of cardstock or scrap paper or whatever. <clears throat> grab book paper to make your closure. I got a little thing wanting to cling to me. So anyway, I thought we'd make some of these and this way I can put this one back in my idea book and maybe glue it in so it won't get them loose. But anyway, um, let's go for it. So, oh, I did make this one just recently, but you know, my camera angle was turned wrong. So that's why we're doing this again. But that's okay because I have all these I want to make up. So I measured this one and it was, I believe, um, uh, four and three quarters. So that's just kind of what we're gonna go with. It could, let's just do it five, and I'll show you why we can do five. Because I can get two out of here. So let's just do five, make things easier. And this one's got a fold, because I was just, no, that's how they come with, comes. They fold it and staple your invoice to it. So sometimes they'll have a fold. And if I got a little shorter, you know, I still would have caught the fold, so it doesn't matter. So, okay, well, I'm gonna need this in a second. So let's just leave it here. Okay, the thing about it, I get two out of it, right? This one's fine, because the bottom's glued, but we can just go in and glue this one, no big deal. And um, just glue every bit of it, because we'll still have the gusset. Come on, glue. Yeah, it's hard to see if it's coming out, because it's white paper. We'll still have the gusset up at the top, so it won't matter if we clamp all this down. So I'm just putting glue everywhere. Okay, so I see here's the scrap from that, and here's the scrap from the one earlier. I just have a little scrap pile going here, and then I can make um, little clusters of things out of those. Okay, so there's that one. So while it's drying, we'll go ahead and work on this one. And I was digging through my scraps, and I found a photocopy I'd made of a masterboard I'd done a long time ago. So that, why don't I use that? So um, I am going to get my other cutter out because it's got a white edge around it and I need to get rid of that. So let me just slice that off real quick. Ah, uh, sure. Sometimes that blade just doesn't like thinner paper. And let me go ahead and do this edge too and then we'll, I'll start it in the middle of the paper and it doesn't get caught. Okay, now of you. Add that to the scrap pile. Okay, and I'm thinking just somewhere around in here so we'll cover it. So I'm going to I can see kind of where that's at. So good enough. I'm just going to mark, make some markings on here. And if I get it too big, fine. I'll just trim it off. So I don't know if that's good enough markings or not. We'll see. So I'm going to take it to this trimmer and see if it will fit in here. So, yeah, and I got this trimmer. I'd been looking at them for a long time. Cut off one of my marks, but I think we can wing it there, right there. But I just wasn't sure which ones I wanted. I even got one at Goodwill, you know, but it wasn't the greatest, so. Um, Anyway, I was at Oklahoma City, and Oklahoma City is the headquarters of Hobby Lobby. And I remember going into, I guess it was the only Hobby Lobby store at the time, um, when I was in college. And uh, I think it must be going this way, so I'll turn it this way. And it was like a whole block. It's like they taken over like a strip mall. So you go in main doors in the mill, then you go all the way around, They'd be the floor department, the fabric and all that. Then you go all the way around here. It was huge. And anyway, uh, so they have there something that I think is just fantastic that it's not that far from me. 
when we go there every once in a while, Oklahoma City. Not as much now that my daughter's moved away from there, but uh, they have an outlet store. And, but they don't call it that. They call it the basket market. And I'm not even sure why they have that store. I mean, if you search uh, Home Depot, and not Home Depot, I always say that, Hobby Lobby, Alice store, it shows, it pops it up and then it calls it the market, basket market or something like that. But basically, they have about one of every product. Now, which way was I going? Nope, this way. You know, I forgot to cut my divot out of those, didn't I? Oh, I did cut the divot out. I cut it out of that one. I find time to think of this, and I? I didn't there, but I will. So, okay, I've got myself all confused. I want the whole thing covered. Yes. See, you know, it's a little bit longer because I made it five, so I think it's confusing my brain. Um, so anyway, they have about one of everything, and they have one whole room that's holidays, so you can go and shop for Christmas and Fourth of July and just any time of the year. So anyway, they had this um, trimmer I was using. It's like half price. I think it's regularly twenty five. I got it for like ten something. And what's really cool is. <laughs> I got, well, i show you a couple of things I got. I'll tell you what's cool in a minute. Um, I got this little 16 inch, I think that's what it is, hole punch, a little teeny tiny hole. I got that for like $2.50 and it was like, it was less than half price. Um, yeah, that looks good. Okay, um, and I had a scrap of scrapbook paper that I'd use for the top. Um, so anyway, um, the best thing was they had quite a few distress oxides so I got them for 250 each and that's great except for one which was this one black soot I got home open it up and that's what you saw nothing it was empty <laughs> so I don't know that's just my packaging in case I ever decide I'll mess with taking it back which I'm not driving to Oklahoma City to do that and I don't know if I'll be allowed to do it or not um, but anyway um, yeah nothing in there but the other ones were fine Okay, I'm going to trim that at that line, and maybe I'll get busy and quit talking. But anyway, so I was happy that trip. That was when we went to the Oklahoma City uh, Friends of the Library book sale, and I destroyed my knees for a week. It took me to recover. I'm going to round the corners on this, and I think that's a normal corner round. It looks a little bigger. We'll try it. A half inch. So it made it a little, yeah, I guess that's about right. About, it made it worthwhile going to that store. So anyway, not yet. yet. I'm just going to fold this in two. Maybe not quite. Maybe I shouldn't have folded it yet. Okay, let's don't forget to cut the divot out of this. Am I just rambling? Am I going crazy? I don't know. It just seems like I am. Um... And then uh, this is wide enough you can ink it at any time but it's kind of hard to see okay so let's just glue this on then we'll be done <laughs> so anyway i just happen to have a lot of these pharmacy bags i keep a stash of them and i unfortunately get too many new ones in the month Okay, and there we go. That one's a little, um, this one's more subdued. This one's kind of in your face with all the designs. So um, I was looking for my medallion thing to close it with. So since I can't find it, I will use some more sticky dots. I don't know where I got these. Hobby Lobby, or not Hobby Lobby, probably Walmart. So um, they're smaller circles. And... The magnets are great, but I don't have those either. So there we go. Okay, and then um, decorating. I have the word peace here I kind of want to use. I just stamped it on part of the bag from the other project. And um, so maybe some lace. Let's put some lace on here. I this lace sitting on my desk. I'm just going to run it across there. Not my fabric scissors. Tech, though. Okay. Oh, 
Oh yes, this is the bottle that the glue, the lid, I'm telling you, is absolutely glue, glued shut. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I need to combine bottles. And I think, is this my old sugar bell bottle or is it? Looks like it might be. I had one, you know, that put got a hole in it, so I don't know if this is it or not. So I might check into that. Too many projects, too many things to do, right? Not enough time for fun. Okay. All right. Get my dull scissors again. I might tear around my word piece. And I need to ink around it too. So did I put that ink away? Yes, I did. I don't have a dauber, so I'm just using this one. This is not one of the new ones. <laughs> So anyway, um, hopefully you are crafting along with me and making something and you're getting your tubs all cleaned out and you're organized and you've got a great workspace and all is well. <laughs> so um, yeah, thanks for watching this video and I will get back to cleaning out tubs and doing something, running around. So anyway, thanks for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye.